Hi, I'm Bruce, and just over a year ago we began our homesteading journey. This week I had no plans, but that doesn't stop things needing to be done. We battle through Storm Lisa as homestead duties call. We're living the dream, man! Living the homesteading dream! We get a break in the weather though, and explore the Loch of Alaloop for Annie's birthday. If you're new here, why not click the subscribe button and become part of our ever-growing community. Good morning guys. Now, I know it looks nice behind me now, but this has been the first break in weather we've had in about, I don't know, feels like weeks, but it's obviously been days. But it doesn't stop jobs needing to be done around the farm, so we've just moved the goats already, and now we really need to move the pigs because their area has become completely underwater and they need a bit of hard standing just to keep their feet out of the wet so that's what we're going to do now anyway before we go moving them we actually need to come over to the right of them and dig up our strawberry plants and transplant our blueberry bushes and various other things like that girls what are you doing like these jobs have been weighing over us for ages but they're the sort of jobs that we've never put on the list it's just like oh we must do that we must do that and because the weather was forecast to be so bad today we didn't make any plans and now it's like enabled us to get on with some jobs that were hanging over us i hope people can hear you over the top of the wind <laughs> Ooh, i'm not even sure if it's the right time of year to be well i'm pretty sure you shouldn't move strawberries whilst they're all green and still producing fruit but we've kind of got to a bit of a situation where if we lose the plants, we lose them. We need to move the pigs. So hopefully I can transplant them in the polytunnel and they'll be fine. I've got a few mouldy strawberries in here. Can I try some of this? Look what I've got. It's a Jerusalem artichoke. Oh, you don't want that, dear. You? you fussy pig. Listen to that wind. Harvested all of the uh, Jerusalem artichokes. Annie and the girls have got the strawberry plants in the bed in the polytunnel. And you might have noticed that I've lost my hat. That's because it is so windy. The wind took my hat and threw it into the pig pen. So that needs to be washed now. Anyway, what are we doing now? Um, we've got the black currants and the blueberries to move. We've got to move the black currants and the blueberries and move the pigs. But I don't know how much more time we've got left because we have got a gale force storm on the way and it's probably not a sensible idea to be hanging around outside. Then, what do you want it? The blueberries. Don't see, you're probably avoiding our warranty on this. That's <laughs> Thinking. We're living the dream, man. Living the homesteading dream. Yeah. 
We were lulled into a false sense of sunshine earlier. <laughs> I was never lulled. It's so windy. I'm not going to draw the face. Now I see why they do carve pumpkins. Why? Because it's so blimmin' hard to carve a squash. Right, so we are back inside now. That wind has seriously picked up. So we're watching the yurt. It's still where we left it, luckily. And uh, we missed out on pumpkins this year. We're kind of used to them normally overstocking them. And then they have a load of leftover ones. After Halloween, you can go pick up. Totally different here. They had completely run out about a week or two before. So I bought them both a butternut squash. And it's actually the day after Halloween now, but they're having a great time carving a squash whilst I'm lighting the fire. Keep myself warm. Anyway, I reckon we've got about 45 minutes before the sun goes down and we have no lights upstairs and we're just waiting for this weather to pass before we can finish off the roof. So uh, Betsy had the idea that we should go up and tidy up for ready for when uh, the roof is done and we can get insulation in there. So let's go! Clear up the Pine Martin scat. Right, well, considering the fact today has been blowing an absolute gale and torrential rain, we've actually got loads done, so I'm well happy with today. Anyway, we're going to have some dinner now, so I'll see you guys tomorrow when I think we might just carry on ripping out the rest of the cladding upstairs. Right, it is the next day, and you would not even believe the contrast in weather today. It is glorious. And I guess probably a bit of a boring week this week in terms of vlog material, but jobs that need to be done is tidying up a lot of this rubbish and stuff that came off the roof and just having a general tidy up of the place. So, let's go. Cool. Hey guys, evening time now, and uh, Annie and the girls are in the uh, reading a story. And it's actually Annie's birthday tomorrow, so just quickly getting up the birthday banner and then getting ready for a walk in the barn tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Definitely one of the best things about living in the yurt. Uh, is I seem to just always wake up to the sunrise, at least when it's not covered with cloud anyway. Anyway, it's Annie's birthday, and first pot of call is make her a cup of tea. <laughs> ah, are you tripping over, sir? <laughs> Thanks. Happy birthday! This is what I get. Don't spend it all at once. <laughs> Come on you two lumps, we've got to go and cook mum some breakfast and give her her presents. Lumps, assemble! Right, Annie's getting herself sorted out and i got to go and cook the breakfast. And after we've eaten that, then uh, her friends have organised for us to go for a lovely walk around the burn at the Loch of Alla Loop. With a picnic and some drinks and all that kind of thing, so it's going to be a great day. Thank you. Bon appetit. Right, let's go, guys. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. Sung Happy Where Birthday by the famous Rory McCarthy. <laughs> Where are you going? We're going to the Boren. The Burton. Camping out the barn, is it? Just going for a walk. Oh, I see. 
The little walk with everyone to your birthday. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, good stuff. You took the day off of work so and everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, have one look up the roof there. I sing happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> love you. Enjoy it, love. Thanks love for ringing. Bye. Bye, bye, Bruce. Bye, girls. Bye, Ra. Bye, Rory. He's bloody sick of filming me again. <laughs> <laughs>extra turning up now they joined us from the other end of the walk Nicola and Richard and family which is always nice right me and Els have said goodbye to the gang Elsie has a drama school on a Friday and I sit in the van and edit away. So, been a bit of a different one this week. I think maybe because I've just had no intention to really do anything in particular. But if you've enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a like and maybe leave me a comment in the bottom. And if you haven't already, it would be pretty great if you could subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week.